Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Kicking It. I am your one of your hosts, Joey. I'm the other Mike G. Riggins. And I am Mr. Hollywood. And we have Mr. Reese's back in the building. Hi, guys. <laughs> and you brought a guest with you. I brought a friend. Hello, friend. <laughs> Introduce yourself, friend. Will. Hey, Will. Hey. All right. You got to talk into the mic. Yes. Mm. So tonight we're not going to have any hot topics. We're just going to go straight into it because last week time just flew and we didn't get to get into everything. Time flies when you're having a good time. Hey, it does. I feel like we had a really good time. We and they, did. And they wanted you back. Yes. Badly. Thank you guys. Yes. It's good to be back. It's good to be wanted. Well, let me just say this. Mike Reese said I didn't apologize for walking off the first episode. So <laughs> I, I apologize like for catching the temper tantrum and walking off. It, it was growth though, because normally I just swing. See? But <laughs> Look at God. Growth. My new year, new you. <laughs> facts. That's facts. That's that Baltimore girl. <laughs> new year, new you. And no no more walking out, because we see you on the end. Yes. So there will be no. If you walk out again. I got a good, clean exit. Listen, <laughs> if we go, walk out again, I already, got a, I already got an inquiry for someone who wants to fill this seat. Ooh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> no one say. <laughs> well, anyway, last week we ended the show with um, talking about Fuck, Mary Kill not being <clears throat> aired oh, anymore. Yeah. We did. So, um, so we have the creator, the director, the writer, the videographer, just everything Fuck, Mary Kill sitting here. Mr. Will. Hey. Welcome. So let's catch him up. What was said? I don't remember what, quite what was said. Yeah. That's probably who say it's out. That's probably who say it's out. What I had said was, um, <clears throat> so Fuck, Mary Kill ended, in, in short, because there was one, there was six, six members of the cast, mm-hmm. right? Six. Four six, main, yeah, yeah, yeah. Six members of the cast, and there was one whose head was bigger than this table, and when everything wrapped, everything was good, and then it just went all the way left. He was coming for his neck. He was coming for the neck of other cast members. Um, and nobody was safe. And it went to a point, it got to a place that was just very ugly. And it, it was best for everyone involved for it to just end. Because to continue, it was a good product. To continue would have given him more clout, more of a platform to stand on. And in my opinion, he didn't need nor deserve that because what he was doing with that was just ugly and unattractive. So that's 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 me. That's what I say. So y'all can't reshoot it without him, like. Um, yeah. So there are people that no longer even want anything to do with the project oh. based off of how nasty it ended. So I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I'm only doing what you know. I. I I'm only doing what my cast members wanted me to do. They wanted me to end it. That's why I shut it down. It's always one bad apple in a bunch. It happens. Yeah, it happens. I tend to create monsters. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, mean, I'm being honest. I've been doing it for years, and it seems like almost every show that I do or create, there's always Almost every show that you create has one monster. Almost. Almost everyone. Not all. Not all. I just want to be clear. Because <laughs> I've been I mean, around. No, honestly, sometimes I've been the monster. So, you know, and I can own that. I can own what that. What did you it's say? Growth? growth? Yes, growth. Oh, I'm, I'm, just, I'm here today We've to talk. speak truth. We've like, talked, so yes. I'm, I'm here, here for to it. speak truth. Like, I know my faults. I, I've, I've sat on it. I sat on the things that I've done, and I can speak on it. Like, So I'm, someone did send me a question earlier. They wanted to know. I'm trying to bring it up. It's so many fucking questions now. God damn it. They want basically. I already know. They want to know. Are you going to bring it back? Bring what back? Fuck Marie Kill. No. No. There. There's your answer. answer. It's right here too. I just found it. Well, a lot of people know you from doing the web shows. Mm -hmm. I know you from fashion shows back in the day. Yeah. So I started. Yeah. Fashion was my my start back in 1997. So I've had my production company for over 20 years now, and I just kind of grew out of the fashion piece of it, Um, just creating and producing fashion shows. I just got to a place where I wanted to start doing competitions Mm -hmm. and trainings and giving back, you know, so I started doing runway competitions, designer competitions, 
you know, fa- anything that was related to fashion, Run fashion battles, <laughs> um, top model competitions. Yes. Like I've, I've pretty much done it all. Yes, yeah, so you ran Baltimore when it came to <laughs> that, because I was always at a show because uh, somebody. <laughs> somebody was in it, right? Yes. Somebody was in it, right? Somebody was in. Well, Monty was in majority of your shows, so right. shout out to Ramon. I had to hey, support Ramon. my older brother. Yes, and so Ramon, Michael Reese, Michael Washington, those who were in um, Horizon, are all of my top models. They went through my top model competition, and they became my top models. They won the competition, and so I was giving them different opportunities to, you know. Speaking of whore, whoreism, how are you, Hollywood? I'm well in your stuff. Wait, pause. Wait a minute. Don't do that. Don't do that. How are you, Hollywood? Oh, I'm wonderful. That segue. I'm wonderful. You sound like pretty and quiet. I am very quiet today. But What's you know, wrong? What's on your mind? Nothing. It's all right. Hey, Larry. Hey, Leonard. What's on your mind? Nothing. That's all right. Tell me. Talk. Put it on the table. It's nothing to talk. And don't put it on the table. Well, we're going to do that later. Here, she can't get to you. Girl, I'm not worried about her. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of horrorism, horrorism with cast was well put together, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. It was the chemistry between the guys was just so awesome that you just you could feel it through the screen, like watching it. It was just so amazing. Um, and I actually went to your season four premiere, which was excellent. Um, so Horizon's one of my favorite shows. I just need you to bring it back. So, <laughs> and for um, those who may not be familiar with Horizon, what is Horizon about? Um, so for Horizon was about four, four friends, and they found themselves intertwined with one another in all the mess. So it was like actually like a show of showing like how friends can be friends, but like all of the drama and stuff that gays deal with. It's a definitely an MSM piece where, you know, they were sleep finding themselves sleeping with each other's man and not knowing it, each other's boyfriends and not sometimes knowing, knowing it. it. And then sometimes <laughs> knowing it and doing it on spite. Like, um it was I try to with horrorism I try to instill any and everything that I may have gone through or friends of mine may have gone through and to make it as real as possible mm-hmm. um, to those um, in the commu- gays in the community, not even just, you know, all of LGBT. I try to put into, um, infuse into my work. Yeah, because you gave a lot of girls jobs. Oh, uh, yeah, I was talking to him about that. He, that he's employed a lot of people, like... <laughs> Well, a lot of people, employed. even I, people who I, could gave act. opportunities, I, basically yes, gave I, opportunities. I um, I'm really big on working with um, inexperienced people or people who you know have a passion or want to get into it, mm-hmm. and um, that could be a good thing and a bad thing. We, I've learned, mm-hmm. but um, giving those people that opportunity, that platform, and um, yeah, and training them along the way. You know, and growing together. Um, sometimes I feel like that has bit me in my ass. Like just um, where th- when I create the monsters, or they get um, either big heads based off of um, the recognition that they're receiving. Um, people tend to um, get their inbox flooded full of compliments oh my god i love you on this and you did great on that and that tends to get to people's heads and when they get to their get in their heads they think that they're better than everybody else so they start carrying things a little bit different mm. and um yeah or writing their own youtube comments from fake profiles but um you know wow <laughs> Talk about that. That was y'all are saying it not me that makes I'm, me feel I, good so i'm not the only one that's no like, no you're no, no. we no. had we we had someone do it on our previous show but you know oh mm. wow yeah so well, we we all went through it so yeah i actually yeah 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 we know all about it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's one thing about this show. We keeps it very real, and we hold we don't hold anything back. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> so let's jump right in it. Go, go, right. go, go. You want to play the game? Go, yeah, just go. jump into it because you're itching. Because you are go. itching for this game. And I'm game. not going first. You, it's fine. I'll take first? the first. I'll go first. You want to go first? I'll okay. go first. So I came up with this I, game. Don't read over my shoulder, Hollywood. Okay. I see you. <laughs> Hollywood, <laughs> look and text me. Hollywood, look at me. He's not a prepared Then the only person that knows is me. And he really don't even know. Yeah, I really don't even know. He just 
explain So it. I came up when we did the show last week. Joey had a little game, and I felt like time didn't allow us to really play his game. So I said, well, I got a game that's a little bit quicker. So what I'm going to do is, it's called Clear It Up. Okay. Clear It Up. So the streets be talking. You know, I did the show. <laughs> People Lord were reaching out, Jesus. asking questions, and they was like, oh, Will's coming on the show, asking oh. questions. I said, oh, you was with Joey? <laughs> oh, yeah. So <laughs> questions came in, oh my and I God. said, well, let me pick the best of the questions, and we're going to clear it up right here, right now. Uh, and if you guys come up with a question for me, which I probably doubt, because I just there's not a whole lot to know about me, but if you got a question at the end, but you have like two minutes to clear, to clear it up. It. Okay. All right. So you guys, we are about to play Cleared Up. Cleared Up, starting with Joey. Jesus. Joey. <laughs> I feel Hollywood got good eyes. I wear glasses, so I can't read that that far. So. <clears throat> I can see my name. Joey Joel. Let me take a drink. Yeah, take that. Sip, sip it up. Security said that you exchanged sexual favors for free entry into the clubs for you and your friends. Ooh. Oh, clear I'll, clear, it I'll clear it up. Back in the day, I did. I was young. Who didn't? Who didn't? <laughs> I, well, anybody that was in, that was in my <laughs> circle, I mean, you did it. It wasn't security; it was the promoter. No, it was security. Wasn't security. Said, so security knew. But oh, I mean, that's fine. It was it was promoters, was but, but it wasn't it wasn't you know it was big people, people who had the money, people okay. who actually could do things with my career. So I'm not going to hide it. Back when I was younger, yes, I did. Okay, you know what though? I kind of give it to you, then I take it back a little bit because I wouldn't have been hooking my friends up. Like if oh no! I, if I didn't I'm hook my friends up. No, oh, you had to find your own type oh, okay. of situation. So you, you was like, I'm first, and then you got whatever's left. Yeah, got you. Okay, well that clears it up. Who's next? I'll go. Get me out the way. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Shit. So because the streets, they always the streets was talking, and they said that the only reason that there's a new cast is because you wanted to be the only light skinned individual on the cast. <laughs> The streets finally got something right. That's the truth. Ooh. The streets finally got something right. All right. The oh. only one with personality, yes. Wait. Oh. Pause. Hey. Pause. Oh. Just fired. Right. All the way fired. Just, 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 okay. All the way fired. I, I just... Uh, there we go. There you go. Come on. I, all I'm doing is asking the question. You can't sit on a platform and be quiet and then expect to come back and still have your job. Yeah, I didn't want to go mm. that far into it. Stop. I just heard it was a light skin thing. It's not a light skin thing. It's a personality thing. Joe, you had your question. I'm sorry. Because <laughs> you started something. Whoa. You started something. You yeah, started that topic, something. That's, that's that's that, topic is a, that topic is... It's, 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 that's that's topic, that topic is real sensitive. But it's true. It's I'll true. Go next. All right. Holly... They're going to say you for last. <laughs> you know what? No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Okay. All right. All right. Go. I'll go next. This is the streets. So you cannot be mad at the messenger. <laughs> Please do not be mad at the messenger. Hollywood. <laughs> mm-hmm. Will can see. Will got on his glasses. So let me... So, <clears throat> a couple of dates hit me. A couple of your old dates mm. Mm. hit me. Jesus. And they said that the only reason that you wear makeup is because you have to. They are correct. That, I'm yeah. ugly, bitch. Yes. I accept. I got mirrors at home. Well. Baby. Honey. I wake up looking in the mirror and scare my damn self. Oh, <laughs> bitch. What's that? I don't believe it. Baby. I say you come to the next show. Barefaced it? Barefaced it. Lies. Wouldn't do it. <laughs> I don't want to break deaf cameras and lights in here. I don't well, want to do that. Well, I feel like nobody was lying. Mm-mm. He likes Hollywood. He don't want to come as Corey. No, Corey's what ugly. Different. That's a whole nother topic. Correct. I want to get into that one. District Tool 2 does. Yeah, we'll, does it? Yeah, it does. When does it come out? What? We're looking at June. <sighs> yep. June, okay. Oh. I'm going to be tuned in because I want, I want that story. Mm. Like, for real, for real. I think Mike Grisha hosts the reunion. Ooh. You tried it because you about to saw some shit. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you can, it's another one out there too. I thought, but okay, Ooh. okay, it's like three. Okay, it's like three hoes she didn't already. You know, okay, Next the way it's going, it made three parts. <laughs> okay, is it a competition? Okay, well, oh. last but not least, word the on the set was. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> set. Okay. Um, you cast your actors and actresses based on one of two things. One, potentially increasing your chances of smashing. Mm -hmm. Or two, based on how good the sex was. Okay. So, I spoke on this in Unprofessional. Told you. The... (sighs) All right. So, me... Two minutes. Oh, well, you listen. (laughs) (laughs) Listen, That's why we say two for (laughs) last. All right. So, I have... 
I don't think that I've ever cast anybody with the potential of having sex with them. Typically, what happens is that I've already fucked them, and then they end up being a part of the show. I don't think that I have anybody that I have cast on my... Well, no, wait. Except for like one. Think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Tell the truth. But um, the sex, yeah, the sex happened after they were cast on the show. But it wasn't that I had sex with them to get them, you know, or like lure them in with having sex with them. No. So has so, anyone lured you to putting them on by having sex with you? Do you feel that no, way? No, I don't feel that okay. way. Um, <clears throat> actually, and then the people that I've actually put on were like last minute throw ins because someone didn't show up and you know, you're laying next to me in bed like, hey, can you please just like, stay a little longer? Just <laughs> not stay a little longer. Right. Not, not, okay. not stay a little longer. Not stay a little longer. Like, you hungry? <laughs> you hungry? And, 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 and you know, and they have been great, you know, and they've done that for me. So I do appreciate it. But um, no, I don't. So that is a problem. That is a problem for me. And that's where I've learned and grown from that. So I don't do that anymore. And so, yeah. But you know when you're... But you, I mean, there is no... Okay, I have a degree in production and entrepreneur management, right? However, there is no degree to tell you how to do this. Mm -hmm. I just jumped out there and I just did it on Mm -hmm. my own. So I'm like feeling my way through and I'm learning as I go. It's a part of being an entrepreneur. It's a part of growing. It's a part of having your own production. You're going to make mistakes. I'm human. Say say one more time. At the end of the day, like I, I accept my flaws. Like I have to sit in this stuff and I realize where did I go wrong? with all of this Mm -hmm. and i had to think about that and there are some actors out there that wanted to sleep with me and i told them no because i saw something bigger and better in that that relationship or that um in them so if you're watching Mm -hmm. but i'm just saying like (laughs) i'm just saying like i you know yeah all right i feel like nobody lied to me no I don't I lie. I don't no. see that. Are the lines open tonight? Yes, the lines are lines open. Are so please. if you are wa- watching and you want to ask questions or you want to just call and show us some love. No, mm-hmm. let's not call and show love. I just feel like that's nice. Write a comment, but call in with some substance. Call in with a question. Oh, Mike Reese is spoken. I'm just saying. So the number, number is 214-937-KICK, which would, would spell the numbers are 5425. <laughs> so it's 214-937-5425 because Hollywood said y'all girls are illiterate and don't know, how to, Ooh, don't know how to spell. Hollywood. They not on them razors no more, so they don't know how to work. Okay? <laughs> they illiterate boots for the dumb bitches um, in the back. Before we go any further, I do want to give a special shout out. I want to say happy 30th birthday to DP. Yes. Um, it's your 30th birthday. We he, we here kicking it. Um, just want to give you great birthday wishes, and um, some of us will see you tonight. Right. Some of happy us birthday, yes. Yes. Capricorn DP. season. Yes. Uh, hey, he's Twan. Aquarius. Hey, it's not Capricorn season. No, it's Aquarius it's season. Aquarius season. Yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Happy birthday anyway, though. And then also we want to give a um. Moment of silence for uh, Spencer Scott. Um, he actually passed away a couple weeks ago. He was a really good, good community. Um, somebody in community who just was a breath of fresh air. I actually have the funeral information if anybody wants to go. Um, his funeral is actually tomorrow. Um, at 10, The viewing is from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. And um, the Catholic Mass is at 11 a.m., um, at Our Lady of Help Christians Church, 100 Village, Waldorf, Maryland, 20602. And if you want to send um, cards and donations, I have the address for that, so just hit me up. I don't want to put that out mm. there like that. Um, but if anybody's going, I can't make the funeral tomorrow. Can someone grab me an obituary because I have a doctor's appointment that I can't cancel? So if anybody's going to the funeral tomorrow, let me know. But Spencer, we miss you down here, and um, we know you're not suffering anymore, and you're sleeping in peace. Okay. So that was a moan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that didn't make me nervous. So should we cruise back in? We can't just go from that and then jump into that. What are we cruising? I don't no. know. But I, I right. Just, that was it's, all it's, of the game? 
That was. I only had one question per person because I felt like there was a there was a few things that came through, but I didn't want to be too. Okay, weird. what's the novel well, one you had for me? On, what's the novel one? What's I the novel one you had for scroll. me? Then? Keep on scrolling. Yeah. Keep on scrolling. Come on, you got all you got these questions. questions. You said people came in them DMs, honey. They were just we okay. So we want to know what the streets are saying. Yeah, we want to scroll. Come on. Yeah, we are. We're the most hated anyway. Are you? We are. Why? Why would you say that? Well, I know for me, um. I disowned Baltimore for a while, so I still do. Um, <laughs> no, I'm that's my city. I'm from Baltimore. Um, I disowned it for a while because I felt like it was a crab in a barrel city. And when I got here, I felt love more than I felt in Baltimore. And when I got here, it was more of let's help each other and not oh I'm gonna tear you down or I'm gonna try to kick you while you're down. So a lot of people felt like, oh, you turned your back on the city, and then when you got to Baltimore, you got real Hollywood, and whenever we called your phone to try to get into a club or get into a function, you was all like, oh, well, I can't help you, which was true. I mean, I really couldn't help people, but with my growth, I understood, you know, you can't turn your back on a city where you're from because then you'll be blackballed. So, so one thing that I, something you just hit on that, I just want to throw out there. A good friend of mine, Tonio, who was on Horrorism, shout out to Tonio, he's always said, and we've always kind of carried this thing, where you have, when you have someone that is doing something, like you're doing this show and you're doing um, apparel for it, you're a promoter, or work, are you still a promoter? Are you still promoting? No. Okay, so you were, and you know, in, mm -hmm. in promoting, you get people that want to get in the club for free or whatnot. I'm not sure exactly what you do, but I'm sure people want some free, not, not being funny, but you know, people want something from you. The thing is, as a community, we have to support each other. Like, one thing that we do is if if you have an event, even with Horizon, to an extent, I felt like when we were doing apparel and things like that, I'm going to purchase this stuff just like everyone else because we're supporting this man who's putting putting something out there for us. But at the same time, um, we're, we're supporting ourselves because what we put in, we get out. Mm -hmm. So I think that we have to remember you can't just have these this expectation that because that's my guy, he going to put me on and I'm going to get from him anything that I can. How is he going to grow from that? You know what I'm saying? As a community, I think we just need to rally around each other and be supportive. If it's monetarily, monetarily pay that $30 or $25 for that sweatshirt versus can I get a discount? Now, if you offer a discount on your own, bet I'm I'm going to take it. But I'm not going to come to you and be like, Hollywood, you do makeup and I want my makeup done for the shoot. Can Every fucking day. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> so Every day. I just want to put that out, that PSA. Yeah. Support each other. That's, that's, how, I, that's how I felt. Um, it was just like, dang, like, y'all can't just support. Like, I get paid for this. Like, when y'all don't pay, I don't get paid. Exactly. So, like, what's going on? But, you know, now... I mean, I understand it. That's why I quit. I was tired of getting phone calls. Hey, I'm outside. Can you, uh, especially when Pride comes around, when Pride comes around, it's for, I turned my phone off. <laughs> if you ain't buy a pass, you had from May of last year until May of this year to buy your pass. If you ain't buy it by now, when May come around, don't. I was about mm -hmm. to be messy. You should have turned your phone off when that other girl was supposed to come, but you kept that one on and it still didn't <laughs> ring. Don't start it. Okay. I just, <laughs> I just thought that it just sounded very familiar. I'm going to let it go. Because she's close to the door. <laughs> <laughs> and that no, was the topic the last no, time. No, 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 so. no. I've learned that people can have opinions of my friends. And I can't be mad about their opinions of my friends. I'm just not here for a bashing session of my friend. But, you know, you guys are entitled to your opinion. So that's your opinion. I have a different relationship with her. So And, and, and I agree because I learned that on working with Will. We were a cast of four tight character, tight. we were friends outside of it. So I feel like that's why the chemistry came across the way that it mm -hmm. did. We worked well together, but you would get that. Like when we first came out, the comments and the way that people were going at some of the other guys, it was like, yo, don't talk about my friend like that. But at the end of the day, it was like, okay, well, if that's how you feel, you're entitled to feel that way. You know what I'm saying? I can't make you feel the way that I feel about them because Correct. they're my friend. Correct. So, you know, it, it, it's one of those things you have to develop that tough skin just because it's life. Mm. It's life. I feel yeah. y'all need to dig over there because she, yeah, 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 yeah we, we good. Hollywood? That's right there. I, so, Hollywood, I. It's something about that corner. <laughs> it is. That corner is. is it, it, it's, that corner has a, a spirit on it. Or something. What kind of spirit? It's just be the, quiet. The spirit of quietness. She, she was there first. Oh. No, I wasn't. Oh, you're right. With this show, you were there first. <sighs> but I, I, so I, I, but I've been very talkative. Let's talk. 
I mean, you talk. What's, what's going on? I don't know what's going on with you. Okay. I'll do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, are you? We we talked about my dating situation. Yes. Are you dating Hollywood? Are you on the market? You can say, oh, well. Ooh, don't say the wrong thing. We are live. We are. Yeah. And they are watching. They are watching. <laughs> they, they. Um, well, there, there's a thing. <laughs> there, okay. it's, a, it's a day there. We'll say that. It's a okay. day there. So you have a situation. Oh, yeah, just a slight one. Yes. Okay. Well, are you dating? Oh, no. No. No, no. Oh. No. New no. Year, just no? No. I'm, I'm all about um, love and light. I am about. Grinding. Love and life or love light. and light? Okay. Light. And it's all about grinding for me. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get my certification. I'm trying to finish up with my master's. Like, I don't have time. Mm-hmm. You trying to write four more shows for the summer? <laughs> I'm not even doing that. <laughs> like, I'm not. Like, I'm working on a new venture. Um, so, um, and I'm really excited about it. So it has nothing to do with writing and film or none of that. I just trying to try to branch out and do something um, different. So I am creating an LGBT cruise group, oh, and really? we are going. Um, we're leaving in July, so I'm super super excited about that. I have my group all together. Um, we had like five rooms or five cabins left over, so I was putting it back out there, but like. I'm I'm satisfied. I'm happy with the group of people that are going. We're planning like different activities and things like that for the people that are going. Um, we are going to Cozumel. And we plan the whole pool social. Like I'm super excited about that. That sounds fun. So like I'm not here for any of the drama that I had. I left that in 2018. 18, yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. But I'll speak on. I like, feel like a hello. little bit of drama is necessary. <laughs> in life oh. no it's not I feel like just a little bit you not gotta have perfect. a little bit to, for that me, shit is stressful be, it's very stressful it's stressful I, I, my, the, the last time. half of 2018 for me was very stressful, stressful. my hair was falling out <laughs> I, I mean I was sleeping all day which, long which that I am which that Right. What's that hair? But, my yeah. natural hair. Oh, okay. You know, the, like the, the hair that, that grows from my scalp. I, I, you, not you broad. You the first one. Because they did say you was bald-headed. They said you was patchy under that. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's okay. That was in the message. That was in the message. It's, it's okay because I, I post videos all the time Clear of my natural hair. <laughs> so it does, every time I take out a weave and I wash my hair and blow it out, it's a video on Instagram. Okay. So Like every six to eight months. You stupid. No. <laughs> you stupid. Excuse me. I'm, I'm not you. Try my sister. Oh, baby, I go every two weeks. I'm not we'll you. wash and a relay stuff. I'm not hello, you. Hello, 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 hello. So, family, anyway, speaking family, of family, dating. Family, family, family. family, family. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of dating, I actually just posted a status. What was it, yesterday? Yeah, it was like last night in a way. It was, was it last night? Uh-huh. Because I had, I had posted on it. I told you don't start. Yeah, I saw that. I didn't start, but I'm going to read the status because this is just, I just feel like. I'm at a, a point in my life where it's like more to oh, life than what that. people are making it out dating do to you, be. Oh, but why are you trying to fight? Do you feel that way too? Like finding it hard to date with hair and my um, biggest turn off is my femininity. That's, that's what people turn- are turned off. Correct. Yeah. That's yeah. what people you're turned off or that's what they're saying. That's, that's, that's what people they're yeah. turned off by the femininity. Yeah. I go through it all the time. Oh Tuan all the time. said that he enjoys working with Will and Mike. Who? Tuan. Aw. I love working with him. Go ahead. He's awesome. So the post said, this isn't a pity post, but I'm seriously going to be single for the rest of my life. I don't like sex, and clearly in my community, you have to have sex to even get a date. I wear hair and makeup sometimes, and in a DMV, that's too feminine. Guys want you to change for them, but don't make an effort to court you. It's so crazy. I've been single for three years, and I'll take another three years if that's what my dating pool looks like. So that's that's, that's nice sex. (laughs) Are we having this conversation? It's been a big topic. It's been a big it's topic. With him, just in our friendship in general. Like, y'all don't understand. I feel like me and Joy have talked about this, though. But I, I don't think anything <laughs> has improved. That's why it hasn't changed. I think like, we talked about it pre hair. Or right when it was going. It might have been pre. It was pre hair. It might have been pre. We talked about it pre hair. But I just feel like this. This is how I feel about the whole thing. <clears throat> and I don't want anybody to be offended. I feel like if that's what you're going to do, do it and stand in that and let that be your truth. Everybody's not going to like it. Mm-hmm. 
But there's some somebody does. Yes, somebody somebody likes it. Somebody likes. I'm not gonna say his name, but somebody likes. And I'm not being again. I'm not being funny. You're talking to somebody. I don't like dating or getting to know somebody. Somebody likes it. And it doesn't. Some people feel like they need fifty thousand people on they on them to feel like validated. But if you have one genuinely good person that's at you, get into that and figure that out. I I, I don't think that. Because to me, sometimes when you post, every now and then I catch something, I'll be like, okay, I don't know if you're 100% secure in, not, like, you'll go off and be like, I am good, my hair is good, my makeup, I don't give no, but then it's like, but nobody wants to date me because of this, so what do I do? You can keep doing what you're doing because that's what you want to do. You've already said, okay, this is, this, you've, you've identified that. It seems to be a problem that I wear hair and or makeup every now and then. And maybe that's why I'm not dating. But because you continue to do it says that you're comfortable in that. Mm. So be comfortable in not dating until right. that person comes around. Because if you're going to be with someone, be with someone that wants you for who you are. Not to be in a situation where you take all this off. Then you find a dude and you're like, okay, well, it's Saturday night. Me and Mike is going to get these streets. I'm going to put this wig on. And he'd be like, wait, hold up. Because now you set him up to think that he's dealing with one thing and he mm -hmm. go flipping the script. So do you. I, here's, I why, here's why I put don't start on his post when I read it. Because Joey posted status, but Joey has one of, one of the hottest guys in our community. After him, they talk all the time. So it's like, why you post this? But then you on the phone with him talking this. It's like, it's not adding up, but. <laughs> no because the last part of the post was a situation that we were going through and then i was like okay if we're going to go through this then i'm i'm not i, I just don't want to deal with it so that's what the end post was coming from because i'll touch on it really quickly basically the person was telling me that i could not be friends with an ex of mine now mind you i was friends with the, my ex before we even dated we were friends prior. Our breakup was really, really bad. And um, we just became cordial to the point where we can actually be in the same circle. And we run in the same circle. Like, my best friend is his brother. So it's like, it's, it's kind of like we're going to see each other. We're right. going to have to talk. So I was just basically explaining to this person, look, it's not that I want to be, like, cool with him, but it's just copacetic if we are cool it's not a big beef so that's the part that you know y'all don't want listen okay i mean i, mean, I had to concur with my with with that like, but i don't think those two things i'm sorry you don't those two things don't even go together joey I, yeah, well, what you just said they do but no they do go together because i it's, it's if i will have someone who's interested but then they want me to do some outrageous things and then i have some people who i actually like who aren't interested because of the hair okay. so i was just basically saying so those you, you're the combination of those things well on that listen i am probably cordial if not friends with Everyone that I dated, because like you said, you had a friendship prior to mm -hmm. becoming, be, being in a relationship and then breaking up. I think that you have to, well, not you, people have to realize that that's an insecurity of theirs that they have to work through. Um, I wish somebody would tell me that. I mean, they can, they can be uncomfortable with something, mm -hmm. but they have to, at the end of the day, trust that I, the only person that a person, so if me and Will are dating, the only person that I have to worry about is Will and what Will does and says and how he acts. If Mike comes at Will and was like, what's up? I'm light skinned and Mike ain't even as light. And Will says, okay, I'm gonna take the bait. I got I have a problem with Mike because we know each other, but I really have a problem with Will because he went there. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like you you have to, you, 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 you gotta cut ties when you see stuff like that. If you can't hmm. talk through that, hmm. move on. He well, we move. actually didn't talk through it today. So we it's, talk, yeah, we talked through it. Don't post no morning. more. Talk Get through it, and then it, when you're done, when you cut that and you say, I'm done, then post about it. Because then, now you look silly. If, <laughs> if I knew who the guy was, I'd be like, okay, there he go. Dummy bitch and dummy bitch too. But, but, but you've seen the growth because I don't post like that anymore. You don't post as much. As but last much. night you did. As much, right, as no. much. You know, and I, I he, do, went, he goes video now. He don't post. I do feel like he's grown. And I, and I, <laughs> he do live that. sessions. That's what okay, he do. He do live. A fierce live session. <laughs> I just want you to sit in your... in your Because I feel like you know and are comfortable with who you are, but sometimes you allow people around your dates or whatever it is, you allow that to interfere. And it's human. 
but I just don't want you to get stuck in that. Because if you're happy with you, that's all that matters. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I, I There was times, probably now, people, oh, he's a little too feminine. Okay, but this is exactly who I am. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Ain't going to get much. I mean, this is it. So it's either going to be good enough or it's not going to be at all. What's on your mind? Nothing. No. no. I'm, just, I'm just taking it all in. I'm still trying to figure out who my grease is dating. <laughs> <laughs> He's amazing. He's amazing. What else y'all want to know? Okay. <laughs> He's a good... All right, who are you dating? Right. <laughs> right. The, the, um, the no name. They, they're, they're, they're in the community. Okay. I wouldn't say we're dating. We're in the process of building that friendship to get to know each other so that when we actually do start dating, it's genuine. It's not a situation like how the rest of these gays are. I feel like Mike got something on his mind. I don't. I, I'm learning the, the spirit of just to shut so up. So wait, we never asked Mike, was he dating? Yeah. Uh, uh, we're not going to ask Mike that. I mean, well, it, went down, it went down the table. Excuse me? It went down the table, so we need an answer. Oh, it's my turn? Yeah. <laughs> Mike is not answering that. Uh, but with Joey, uh, this right. person, huh? Nothing. With Joey and this person, it's just like, I'm, I'm, I'm. He's, mm. he's, not here for it, but here for it at the same time. Like he's on yeah, the fence he did about say it. That he was he's the most attractive no, one of the most attractive. Right, guys. he is, but I'm 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 not here for it for him. Well Joey And I think Joey cling to that because that guy showed him a little attention. Well I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. I just, we, we, I, just we, I feel I just, like Dr. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna I wouldn't say that. I'm trying. Ayanla. I'm just gonna be quiet. <laughs> he's gonna so block let's me. talk about you said no more fuck Mary Kill. So let's me. talk about fuck Mary Kill real quick. So Mike, yes. you were part of the cast. What was your favorite part? And what was your least favorite part about filming? Because that was the first time that we had worked together. It was. And at first I didn't even like you because I didn't think you liked me. But after working with you, you were really cool. I hear that a lot. Um, I felt that way when I first met him too. Yeah, it's like... Did you? Yes, yeah. you sized me the I was, fuck yeah, up. Yeah, when I met you on a brunch, you looked at me <laughs> up and down. It was like, what is it? like? You, was like, you was like, Monty, who... who, who your, br- your brother, your little brother. We're, we're older. Yeah. You can sit with us now. Oh, no, no, I'm just joking. I never felt any type of way. I, I don't know. You, 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 okay. We'll come to you. Go ahead, Mike. Um, favorite part. Favorite part was everything. I enjoyed it all, especially the time length to learn the script. Because, yeah, that's people be busy. We and, Will, have... you don't write. You There's paragraphs. Yeah. So. Yeah. And that we, we did have a while to learn that one. So what was your least favorite? Um, that it didn't get the shine that it should have. Agreed. Agreed. I, I have to agree with that too. I'm kind of upset that it didn't get the shine as well. Yeah, because I didn't even see an episode. It was two. Two came out. And then I but stopped you it. Busy. And then he you stopped it. You busy, we know. No, because I usually sit and watch everything. So I have a question for you then. Hmm? Being that you're so in, in the community and you hmm. do a lot, I don't. Have you done a web series? No. I'm sure you've been approached. I have. So why not? Um, my brother died last year when I was supposed to go film. That's true. And um, and his funeral was the same. I was supposed to uh, film chapter two. It's a show in Baltimore called Chapter Two. They'll be here next week. Yeah. I love that. They have a question for you from them too. Okay. I was supposed to film. I was supposed to do a a cameo with them um, the same day as the funeral, so I couldn't make it. So condolences. Thank you. Yeah. So. so so you're open to I mean District 202 is not a web series. It's like more reality. Or, it's a reality. Right. The way he got me writing this shit, it seemed like it's a web series. Yes. Wow. But um, I'm open to it. Um, and I mean, it'll be something new for me because I've never done it before. Mm-hmm. But I'm very open to My it. My only thing with Joey in that I need Joey to take it serious and have the time. Don't do it for, oh, I got the opportunity because I'm Joey Joel. Do it for the love of it. I never, take you it never act like that. So this is your first, this is your very, very first director date, you know. Doctor with District 202? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, with District 202. Yeah, and it's, I take my hat off. Chill. I do. We be up all day. the reality day. of it is, is that people, people are quick to assume, people are quick to talk. 
But until you actually do it, you have no fucking idea. Because in my head, I had one thing, and then he sent it back. He was like, I need a breakdown. So I have to break down nine episodes, and each and nine episodes has eight. four scenes. Eight episodes, nine is the reunion. And it's, it's a lot. I thought you liked it. I don't want to. For, first of all, we sent it. We did it. Me and Mike worked together on it. We did it. We was like, "Oh, this is gonna be real good." Sent it to him. He came back. It was like, "You missed this, 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 this." this. We no, like, liked the entire show. Everything was great, but we missed important. We things, was just like, so. "Oh my gosh, we about to be up for another twelve hours." Like, yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah. sounds like a lot. Yeah. 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 I thought executive producer was gonna be easy. No, no. <laughs> Will pulled me in, and I said, "Oh." This is cool. Because <laughs> if I got to stay up, he got to stay up. Yeah. Well, see, I work overnight, so I'm yeah. up. So, yeah. But still bouncing ideas, because me and Will, Will would send me a script. I'd be at work. So I'm in HR, so I'm dealing with people all day. Um, Can you get back with me? Sir, I have a whole nother job. <laughs> like... I'm going to work with you, but I have a whole job. And then when I'm reaching out to him, he's in class. I'm in class. Sir, you wanted me to get back with you. Now you busy. Right. Like, it's, it's a lot. And yeah. then deadlines. Like, we have a deadline to have it in tomorrow. And I'm only on episode five. Mm. So I don't. Sounds fine. <sighs> so you said you had questions? Oh, from um, Larry. He wants to know where you're going to audition for chapter two in Friends. Larry knows I'm coming through. We already, we, well, we had the conversation. I said that I was interested in, absolutely. I feel like, I feel like I jumped out there with Will. We did the play first and then it went into a web series and then. When y'all said he didn't pay people, I got paid off of um, DC. He he got an opportunity. I actually want that to come back, but okay. <clears throat> so <laughs> I got a little coin from that. Um, and what I found after Horizon and all of that ended was that I went and auditioned for some things, and people were just like, mm, "We seen you," and a lot of stuff. So I was like, "Oh, okay." So I went out for one audition. They was like, "No, thanks." Went out again. They was like, oh, you're the guy from No Thanks. And I was just like, well, damn. Mm. So I felt like I need to take a back seat, sit down, get my life together. Not even get my life together, but just take a break. And so now I feel like I'm at that place where I've been gone long enough. I've taken a class or two here, and I'm ready to get back out there. So I saw that Larry had put something out. I was like, yo, I just don't know about that travel to Baltimore. But I'm going to do it because I said that I, I, did, I wanted to. So, yes, Thank I will be you. auditioning, and we'll see how that goes. Yeah. I think I'm going to go to the auditions, It's going to go too. well. It's I think Larry. I'm going to go to the auditions. It's going to go well. You think? I think. It's, it's a lot of work. It's it's a commitment. I know, and I'm already... I'm working on... You're making excuses. No, I'm not making excuses. Thank, thank you. No, no, no. Thank you. Do it, please don't. Thank you. Yeah. You're, don't. No, I'm don't going to... No, I'm working on a big project for myself that mm -hmm. has taken me project. a while to get through. Then work on that project. So, it's like... I'm dealing yeah, with that. Yeah, if, you're, if you're doing it because... I've always said anybody that I've worked with, um, like other actors that were coming in, I would just be like, to me, I, I look at it as a second job, like mm -hmm. legit. There's timelines. You need to be somewhere at a certain time. You don't know how long you're going to be there. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. There's a lot that goes into it. And to jump in there, because it's exciting in the beginning. It's really exciting because you're like, oh, my God, you're meeting new people. You're reading the script and you're developing this character and all of that. And then when it comes time to put it together, it can be it can be bad. Like, we've had days where somebody couldn't get a line, and we shot the same scene over and over and over and over and over. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, it's stuff and like you have days like that. Frustrated. Yeah. Well, I could do a cameo. Just give me, like, one episode. Just get Larry. my feet wet. He busy. He booked. <laughs> Bring no, him no, back no. on season two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not booked, but this project, he's knows, he knows what I've been working on, and I've been, like, constantly studying all day long because it seems like something new comes out every time I feel like I'm finished with it. It something new comes out. So, so. what's the project? Y'all do a lot of mm, I'm working on, but it don't ever like we never know what it is. What well, is I'm it? working on my own extension line. Mm. Okay. Yeah. You getting so, in on that? You know? That would be a good combo. Yeah. No. Yeah, I'm Shop working that. on my um extension line and I actually um had a celebrity reach out to me, so oh, I'm wow. Trying to finalize everything with that. See, Hollywood's a little different. Hollywood's a little mysterious. Like, he's, he, she's, he's just mysterious. So, yeah. Why? I, mysterious. I do feel like you are a little bit like, 
I'm here, but I'm not gonna give you too much. So <laughs> I kind of dig. Like, take this off. Let me see. You, no. I, I'm naked under it. I mean, I don't want to expose it's my like body. Twenty degrees pieces. outside. This is overdressed. They was like, that is overdressed because I remember I told you when you came. I said I hope he does not have one of them shorts. Because she, well, the, actually, I do have them on. It's a part of all of a one piece, and I just threw a pair of pants on just to so I wouldn't be too much for the girls, you know. But you know. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> this right. is me. You know, I love it. Thank you. I love it. That is not the main thing. So we gotta get you a frontal, a lace frontal. You can model. I it. love hair. My <laughs> friends will tell you. I love a good wig. <laughs> you can come test some hair out with me. Listen. So Listen. we got five minutes left. Y'all yes. want to play another game? Let's go. I have one on my phone. Come on, too. That's all right. You got five minutes. Is anyone in the call in the phone lines? They'll call no. next week. Alrighty. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna be calling. You gonna call in? Oh, because Lurian didn't be here, yeah. So we're going to play Never Have I Ever. Never Have I Ever? Never Have I Ever. ever. So. How you play? We'll be so acting like how you play that. <laughs> we'll be acting like a whole senior, I'm going to read, senior citizen. I'm going to read the question, and if you've done it, explain it. In like 30 seconds. Yeah. Okay. So, have you had sexual fantasies about a teacher? No. No. Child. <laughs> principal in middle school, he was fine, but <clears throat> yeah, okay. No. Next question. Gross. Never have I ever been dating someone just to have sex with the person. No, we just did it. There was no dating needed. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't like sex, so that doesn't pertain to me. Child, I'm so sick of hearing that. <laughs> I, don't it. I don't believe it. Never have I ever taken a class because I wanted to sleep with the professor. No. Oh, no. no. No, I don't. Okay. Oh, no, that's not a good one. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, never have I ever lost in the X game. The X was happier than me first. Hmm? What? What? So basically, it's saying your ex, y'all broke up, Mm -hmm. and then your ex got with somebody else first and was happier than you. I didn't, I didn't care. I didn't care. Who cares? If they're happy, I'm happy Who for cares? them. Never have I ever lost my gum kissing someone. I yeah. have. Yeah. Where are you losing? In his mouth? <laughs> I uh-uh. guess that's where he left it at. I don't know if he swallowed it or not. Yeah, He Gross. swallowed it. <laughs> Gross. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's, that's, mm. Never have I ever was so weak. I know. It's not fun. For, I downloaded it from the app store. It wasn't, it wasn't fun. Well, yeah. yeah. This was easy for me. I came on here thinking I was going to get like. Mike Reese played it. Played it really light tonight. He did. I yeah. was. I didn't want to be too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you got my. You got my text this morning. I, I said. And then you know, you know, I you had know. a. I had a question Mike. for you about my, fuck Mary Kill, but I'm going to leave that alone because I want down. us to be. Wait, friends. I have a question for Mike. No, ask it. Go ahead. Huh? Ask it. Run it. Come on. We're, 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 so we're being as though. The cast looked like it was a bunch of attractive men. Have okay. anybody, have any of you guys slept with anyone on that class? Cast. What cast are we talking about? Fuck my kill. <laughs> what's the name? Of the, what's the title? Of the, what's the first title of the show? Fuck. No. No. For me, no. There was only no. There was only five. No. No. So, what was your question for Mike? <laughs> Okay, so based upon, not to dig into you, but based upon your photos that were put out for your birthday, mm. I had a question for you. I saw that there was a scar on your stomach. Mm-hmm. I was just wondering, what was it from? You know, was it like... I used to be a woman. Like no, I'm just joking. Um, what had happened was when, I was when I was five or four, four or five, I was on a big wheel. My cousins were pushing me. They pushed me into a wall. And when the big wheel handle turned, it jabbed me in the stomach, and I had a blood clot in my pancreas. So, oh. Um, yeah, they thought it was a hernia, so I'm cut on this side, and then they realized it wasn't that, and had to go back in and fix the um, blood clot. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so let's give yeah. on social media is what can they reach you, Mike Reese? I am at M I S T E R R E E S E on Instagram, Mr. Reese. I'm on uh, what is it? Facebook, but eh. what is it, Michael Reese? Michael Reese. Yeah, Michael Reese. 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 Michael Re
They hate it when I say that. <laughs> they do. They hate it because it sounds like you're saying I'm yeah. everything. No, it's not everything. It's so simple to just <laughs> no, define me. It. You know. So, um, Facebook is Joey Joel. Instagram is Joey dot Joel. And my hair page is up and running, but it's um, it's blank. So it's called House of Joel. So if it follows I'm you, it's not one of those you. random hair pages. <laughs> yes, it's not one of the random hair pages, but. I'm getting everything done. I'm getting the process. The logo will be out in two weeks. So I'm just. Congratulations. Thank yes. you. Thank you. So next week we have Larry and Lenard. They're the creators and directors of um, Baltimore's chapter web two. series Chapter 2. Yes. Which I am also in yes. season one and season two. Um, yeah. So they'll be here next week. Yes. Mr. Anthony. That is my character, yes. isn't it? Yeah. So, Mr. Anthony. That's going to so be we'll exciting. I look forward to yes. it. Yeah. So guys, we want to thank you for tuning in to Kicking It. And we'll see you guys next week. Same time, same place. Next week, 8 o'clock. Good night.